Hey y'all, what is up and welcome back to my channel for a, another renovation. So if you missed the last renovation I uploaded the other day, let me go ahead and explain to you what this is for. So I'm going to be recreating Willow Creek. That is the first town that I'm going to start with, but I'm going to be recreating, recreating, renovating, whatever, all of them because I'm inspired at the time being and I'm having so much fun that I think I want to stick to it, fingers crossed, but I'm going to be renovating all these lots so I can start my own save file. I did the Daisy Hovel, which was a little starter home in Willow Creek, so be sure to check that one out. But today, we are renovating the Umbra Umbrage Manor. I think that's what it's called. I hope so. <laughs> so, I hope I don't sound like I don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. It's one of my favorite EA houses. I just think it's so beautiful from the outside that I really didn't do much. Um, also, it's very, very fast when I'm doing a lot of the exterior and interior floor plans and the planting because it was a really big house it was a long renovation it took me two days so I really sped up that part but the interior decorating and all of that I kind of slowed it down so it's not this fast all the way through so bear with me but I love this house so much like I was saying that I didn't really have to do too much to the exterior of it um I did change the color uh, I think the like shutters was blue i changed it to the greeny looking color i don't know i just like that better <laughs> i really wanted to go with like a greeny greeny type vibe like cream white and green i don't know it just it looked prettier to me and i changed the trim and everything to white um, I changed some of the doors, I added some windows to the side, and got rid of those circular windows. The only thing about this house when doing the floor plan is that it's very beautiful on the outside, but it's shaped really freaking weird. <laughs> so I had a hard time getting this floor plan together. It looks like I have it all figured out. As you can see, it's like I'm, I'm just I'm on a roll with it, but I cut out the other 30 minutes of me trying to figure it out and honestly I didn't figure this out on my own <laughs> spoiler alert I'm not even gonna try to take credit for this floor plan but uh little Simsy <laughs> Kayla our girl the master at renovating and fixer uppering she actually renovated this house before and I knew I had seen her do it so I was like well let me see how she did the floor plan because obviously I want this to be a family home I was like how in the world am I gonna fit multiple bedrooms in this home because it was originally just two bedrooms I was like how in the world is this gonna work I couldn't figure it out on my own it it just looked really funny and weird so I kind of copied hers a little bit <laughs> um, just the floor plan or whatever so yeah I think it turned out nice the exterior um, turned out you know like I said didn't change too much but the landscaping I did keep the format of the landscaping because landscaping is to this day still my horror I hate it I hate I hate landscaping so much. I just feel like everybody else can plop different plants down in just random fashion and it just looks so good. But when I do it, I don't like it. I struggle with it. So for most of these renovations, if I like the the landscaping, I may just delete the plants, plop my own plants in so I'm, I'm renovating it. But I probably will just keep the same little layout just because I'm not very good when it comes to landscaping. So bear with me. But yeah, I think this house turned out really, really nice. Um, in case you didn't watch the other renovation, I mentioned this. I'm going to mention it again. That these houses in Willow Creek, um, I just learned this fun fact and I'm just really impressed by it <laughs> and I think it makes it so much more fun for me to renovate these houses because I'm familiar I knew they were like southern looking but I didn't know that they were based or influenced by like New Orleans architecture style houses like you know the French um, Creole cottages and the manors and everything it kind of looks like not even really just exclusive to New Orleans but you know, downtown where I live in Alabama, you know, it looks like Georgia and Charleston, North or South, is it North, South Carolina? I don't know my geography, uh, but it was like Southern traditional, you know, manor, you know, plantation houses and little cottages, old timey vibe. I absolutely freaking love it. And I like it so much more, you know, these houses that EA create and they're just like ew you know the exterior are cute but when you go inside it's just like ugh it's just not cute and it's not fun to play in if it's not cute or at least to me that's how I am when it comes to playing in houses I like them to look nice and lived in you know because my sims spend the majority of their time at home <laughs> but anyways yeah I, I don't know it just made it so much more fun to liven it up so when I went inside I wanted it to be bright 
because before it was very dark and like dreary and just very fancy looking too fancy just like I couldn't breathe in that house if I was to like really walk in it because it's just ugh, just not homey at all so I was kind of going for a homey look so I gave it dark hardwood floors white walls white furniture it looks very young but also it does have that old-timey vibe you know with the wallpaper and the high ceilings and the fancy curtains they have fancy pictures they have fancy decor obviously this house is a lot of money <laughs> and this neighborhood in Willow Creek is a lot of money they look like trust fund babies like it just reminds me of very wealthy and privileged people I mean, this is where the doctors live this is where the politics live so I'm excited to you know start creating these sims and putting them in these houses but for this house I did go ahead and create the family um, just because I feel like it's easier for me to have a game plan of who is going to live in this house so I know how to decorate the bedrooms what type of vibe I want to go for in the house so for this house, I wanted it to be a family, so that's why I needed to, you know, copy somebody else's floor plan of this house, so I had enough bedrooms. But I really wanted them to be a young couple, uh, so it's a young married couple, they're young adults, they have a toddler and a child, but they're very young, but for being young, they have a lot of money. They're very successful, obviously, and I think it's because they come from money, you know, those people, you, know, you might be one of them, you know, you just come from money, bless your heart, I mean, hallelujah good for you I wish I did <laughs> but yeah they came for money and I think that he's like a businessman you know he has his own business it's passed down from generation to generation so he's taken over the family business and he has a son that's a child and once his son grows up he'll take over the family business and I think that'll be really fun so the dad is um, he's ambitious he's family oriented his aspiration is to have you know a very large and successful family um, not large but a successful family um, they like I said they only have two children and I think that's all that they're gonna have they kind of had their life planned for them um, and we're gonna get married this date we're gonna you know do this we're gonna have two children a boy and a girl and they got lucky and they did they had a boy and a girl so the little girl is a toddler and I think that she's just gonna be a little sweet socialite <laughs> like I just just like her mom and the mom like I said they are young adults I see her being a stay-at-home mom um, I don't see her having a career uh, I think that they both have an education they both went to college as you'll see upstairs when I'm decorating um, the office upstairs for the dad it's his office I did put like four degrees on the wall so you can tell that they are very very smart they have four degrees like two each so you know if she wanted to have a career she could she did go to school she did get her education but when they had these kids you know they have the money that she's privileged enough to wear you know or blessed enough not privileged that's the wrong word I'm sorry she's blessed enough that she can stay home with her kids and watch them grow up and you know maybe help out with the family business you know on the side you know doing like the accounts receivables and accounts payables and that sort of stuff um, but definitely might, might get more into it when she gets older but yeah I just felt like she wanted to be home especially with the toddler just raised her son he's in school now and they have a toddler that she wants to be home with um, so yeah I see her just being a really sweet you know socialite staying at home um, I think that the other families around them are gonna be a little bit older and they're more of the younger couple that you know have money in this neighborhood but you know they, they still get together with everybody because you know they run together they grew up together they're in the same you know yacht club and country club and whatnot so yeah I don't know I just I don't ever really personally play in these big houses like this usually my sims don't come from a lot of money the ones that I play in my personal gameplay but I don't know I found myself when I'm you know looking at all these houses and thinking ahead okay I want this kind of family to live here I just I get so attached to sims that I just I want to tell their story so badly it's a problem y'all I do I get really attached to sims uh, the other house that I renovated which was the little starter home it's not a starter home anymore it's really cute go check it out but I talked about the sim that I had planned living there well I ended up going ahead and creating her 
And y'all, I fell in love with her. I mean, she's just so freaking cute. And I was like, this is it. This is the beginning of me obsessing over Sims. And when I created this family, I did the same thing. I just, I, when you build their house and you plan their story and you write their little biography because it is going to be a safe. I want them all to be connected, have friends, um, have drama and stuff like that. And then obviously I have a biography for you guys to, you know, get to know them, um, I'm so excited to be able to share it with y'all once it's done. I mean, I'm just now starting on it, but I don't know. I think it'll be my pride and joy. I think everybody says that when they create a site save file, and they're like, it was my pride and joy. Well, I get it now because you work really hard. <laughs> I mean, this is only my second house I've renovated, but it took me a long time, and I'm just like, okay, I have a lot of work to do. <laughs> this one house took me about two days, and I have so many more. It's ridiculous, so... I definitely get it and I'm excited to continue. It's probably going to be a few months, honestly, um, but I do plan on renovating all of them first and then maybe doing like the speed builds on the empty lots, um, that style house that goes with the neighborhood. I mentioned this before in the other renovation I did, you know, I want to stay true to the architectural, you know, design that they had around each neighborhood. So with Willow Creek being, you know, more Southern and you know whatnot I really wanted to stay true to that <laughs> so I'm gonna try to build houses that you know are similar to this depending on which neighborhood in the town that they're in but yeah in the kitchen y'all <laughs> these ceilings are so high I just felt it looked really weird with just you know obviously I didn't think it made sense to put them all the way at the top because realistically I know I take the Sims game way too serious but realistically they're not going to open the cabinets up and get the food out anyways you know what I'm saying but you know to me to me it just didn't make sense for the cabinets to be all the way up there but then there was this huge gap between the counter and the cabinets you know what I'm saying so I doubled them and stacked them up which when you walk in houses that have high ceilings maybe your house has like really high ceilings usually they are that tall anyways and it just looks really nice um, so that was the effect I was going for that's why they're like really tall but yeah I don't know I really like this house I like the layout of it that um, Kayla came up with not me <laughs> but yeah I, I just I didn't want it to be too fancy even though they have money and they're very successful I, they're a young couple they have children I wanted it to you know obviously show off the fact that yes they have money but it's also very homey so you see I gave the kids a little playroom over there so there is three bedrooms for you know the master bedroom and then two upstairs for um, the son and the daughter but there's also an office upstairs which you know if you wanted to you know renovate my renovation of this house or you know if you don't want to wait for the save file this house will be available for upload will be available will be available for download not upload i will upload it and it will be available for download on the gallery um as soon as this video goes live so if you want to go ahead and snag this house you can do so and potentially you could have you know four bedrooms or five because downstairs you could convert that to whatever you wish but yeah I don't know um keep in mind that when I renovate these houses I am going to be renovating them for specific sims and families so yeah if you want to go ahead and snag the houses before feel free to do but you might want to change them or you know rearrange them and suit them to your sims or whatever the the need may be but yeah I don't know I really like um like I said the layout that she came up with Kayla I don't know how she did it because I was so confused at how in the world I was gonna maneuver around those little side walls right there but we kind of like closed them in and there is a window but it's just for looks which I was like eh, but it doesn't look that bad um it's not that obvious I don't even really think about it but yeah, um, y'all, I think the least favorite part about renovating for me, or not renovating, but just like building in general, doing speed builds, is doing like the entryway or foyer. Because <laughs> I feel like in every house, whether it's a big house or a small house, I feel like you're limited. You know, you can do the coat rack, you can do like a mirror and a little table, and I just feel like you're, I'm so limited to what I can put in the entryway that I saved it for last when I was doing this house. But yeah, I don't know. I really like this house. I really like this family. I, I want to play with them. <laughs> I want to play with my other sim I created for my other house. It's going to be a problem, y'all. It really is. Um, and this master bedroom that I'm renovating, I actually scrapped the first part that I did because I did something completely different with a completely different color scheme uh, but it did not look good 
it just didn't flow with the rest of the house. I was like, nope. So I had to completely scratch it. Um, so this is what I came up with. Um, I'm kind of like OCD when it, when it comes to certain things, when building and renovating and doing all that. I don't really like to put a fireplace where there's not... Um, you know the little chimney area so like downstairs where the chimney is you'll see on top of the roof there is the chimney there uh, it doesn't line up with this one in their bedroom but it's a freaking game carissa it doesn't matter that's what i tell myself so i felt like you know as fancy and nice and cozy as their room was i really wanted to add a fire place like on the wall right there for like an accent and i think it turned out really good so yeah i'm learning that this is a game and that is not realistic i mean well okay the sense is kind of realistic i mean i use it to story tell and still um and tell realistic stories and you know situations but when it comes to like stuff like building and I just, sometimes i just take it way too serious so i'm learning but yeah, I don't know. I feel like I'm going to have a hard time <laughs> when it comes to these houses, you know, using different styles and different, uh, I guess you would say, tones and textures. Is that even the right word? Like paint and wallpaper? Because obviously they're all the same theme, you know, same style houses. You're kind of limited. So hopefully I can mix it up a little bit. This is only the second house, so I haven't struggled too much, but... Um, I'll let y'all know how that goes once we get, <laughs> I, I might have to change my mind on that once we get, you know, further, deeper into this renovation that I'm doing, so you, hopefully, hopefully y'all won't see me repeating stuff, but, yeah, anyways, uh, wow, look at me, 16 minutes, and I think I did a pretty good job explaining and talking about the build, but now I'm running out of things to talk about, and it starts to get repetitive, and if you guys do voiceovers, you know what I'm talking about. I try to do a mixture of talking about what I'm doing and then, you know, telling anything relevant that I have to talk about, you know, <laughs> but then I'm like, did I already say that? And I feel like I'm repeating myself and it's just very awkward me sitting here like, did I say that? And I just start to ramble like right now, like just shut up. <laughs> But anyways, y'all, how are y'all doing? What do y'all think about the live stream? We can go ahead and talk about that, right? The live stream. So, um, it was what, two days ago. Yeah, October 2nd. Right now that I'm doing this voiceover it is October the 4th. So, October 2nd, we had the live stream, which was hyped up so much. I thought, honestly, that they were going to give us, like, a teaser of the pack that was coming. Because they did announce to us that we would have another whether it be an expansion pack, a stuff pack, or a game pack, we'll have another release um, for PC for The Sims 4 before the year is over with. So, like, in two months, we'll have something. A lot of people are, like, on the stream. Some people are just, like, really mean to the poor gurus who are so excited about what they've done <laughs> and what they're bringing us for free. Um, I just feel bad for the people, the mean people in there that are like, stupid, we want, we want this, we want that. And it just, it gets on my nerves. So, yes, I want seasons, not seasons, we have seasons, duh. I want university, just as bad as you want university. But, I mean, I don't think that we're going to get university before the year's over with. If we do, it'll be a complete and total shock and round of applause to EA because it takes a lot of work, I'm sure, <laughs> to create an expansion pad because, you know, so much comes with it. It's so detailed that I don't think just a few months after getting seasons that they'll just throw us, you know, university. I think that maybe you know a couple months it'll be ready for we'll have seasons available but i'm excited for whatever it is that they're going to give us i'm thankful for them and all that they do i'm excited about the career some people were like really that career is stupid <laughs> how many times do i see people complaining about we need more careers we need more careers we need more careers so I think that it's a great thing. <laughs> I think they did a really, really awesome job. And it also comes with a drawing tablet and you have the option to work from home. So what more could you want? I'm excited about it. And then also you have to think, we do get new careers, usually with every expansion pack we get, which is really thoughtful that they keep that in mind. Like for example, with City Living, we got how many? Two, was it two or was it three? Three, we got three, right? The politics social media and credit career yeah so i mean they do give us careers so i think it's really cool that we get a career that is so in-depth that gives us a whole new object well they're actually 
I bet there's a lot more than just that drawing pad. I know I've seen like some kind of like vision board on the wall. There's probably a lot more to it that we haven't really seen. They didn't get to go into a lot of depth. So I think it's really cool that we got it for free. And then also, what else? Um, the terrain tool. Honestly, I'm excited about the terrain tool just because it adds something to the game that everybody has been wanting. Um, but honestly, I'm not even really sure if I'm going to use it because, you know, it's like the whole Sims for world is flat like the surrounding areas and everything the landscaping it's just it's kind of flat it's every now and then you'll see like a little hump but for the most part it just looks flat <laughs> and if you start building houses with like up on these hills and everything it just feel like it would kind of look weird but um i don't know i guess maybe not maybe it's it'll won't stand out that much i mean you can you know modified a little bit make it a little bit more blended um so we'll see uh, i think it's gonna be interesting me learning how to build and landscape with terrain tool because i just learned how to build and i'm still getting better at landscaping um, so it's gonna be a whole new struggle also he built a car i mean he didn't build a car oh my god it's currently six o'clock in the morning that i'm finishing finishing this voiceover so if you hear a change in my voice and tone that's why i couldn't finish it so i had to restart the last few minutes <laughs> and it's six o'clock in the morning i'm babysitting but while the kids are asleep i gotta get this done but anyways he um he built a garage which i think is definitely a hint to cars because i know a lot of people want cars i was hoping that we would get an update to tod not toddlers the babies where we can click on them and they're not objects we can carry them around bathe them in the sink do sims 2 style stuff because i had been hearing a lot of talk about them wanting to change the whole way that babies function in the sims 4 but yeah i don't know i'm excited for the future of the sims 4 i'm excited to see what our pack is that we're going to be getting i'm excited um you know for the free update and everything i don't know i just i'm really enjoying the sims 4 i'm having a lot of fun especially renovating these houses um so yeah this video is actually about to wrap up so i'm gonna go ahead and uh call it a day or a, a wrap a video wrap like by the end um I, at the end i did include screenshots and you will see the family that i created for this house i think i want to start doing that uh, create the family and just include them in the screenshots just so you kind of get an idea because i will obviously be explaining them and their personality so i think that'd be a little bit fun so yeah anyways if you like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up comment down in the videos what you'd like to see next your thoughts and everything subscribe if you have not and i will talk to y'all later